Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube. It's June 2nd, 2.30 p.m. Central Time. We're looking at the one-hour chart of CKB Nervous Network. I've got a new mic. I know a lot of people have been screaming at me in the comments that I sound like I'm broadcasting from a cave or a tin can, which is fair enough because that is what it sounded like. I sent my assistant to Best Buy yesterday to get a new mic. They came back with this blue Yeti. I do apologize if I don't have all the settings quite right. I am working on tuning this mic, but I hope this is better for now. We had some breaking news earlier. If you did not catch that video, I will put an end screen up in this corner. At the end of this video, you can click on it. We had special guest at DPerch531 come on and break the news, kind of tell us what it was all about. There is a cross bridge that has happened between Cardano and Nervous Network. Now, I kind of want to talk about that first, just a hair, before we dig into this TA. I have heard BitBoy Crypto, which is a phenomenal channel, such a great resource to the crypto community of all things concerned crypto. I mean, it's the first time I've heard a major YouTuber talk about Nervous Network. And now I know he is a big Cardano holder. He naturally covered the story because it pertained to one of his favorite assets. And I do think this is just the beginning of widespread exposure to Nervous Network. I think that we're going to start seeing a lot of other people talk about Nervous Network. And this will have an effect on buying pressure. This will also have an effect on other exchanges to want to carry or connect to Nervous Network. Like I said before, if a Coinbase listing happens, I think that will be a huge gain for CKB. What we're seeing here on the charts is a direct result of this small news. And I'm calling it small news for now because I think it's going to take a few days, a few weeks before people really start talking about Nervous Network or this cross bridge that happened. So it's not going to be an overnight thing, but the price is headed in the right direction. In yesterday's video, I was discussing how I liked this ascending triangle, but I was also at the same time discussing how I did not like this bear shed that it came off of. So we might see some different direction happen with CKB. This pivot point sure served us well on top of the news dropping when it did. I think that really helped us kind of break out of this downtrend or this downtrend that might have happened had this news not broken out. Now, I want to say that on a daily chart, this looks entirely different. We have some significant bullish engulfing here, folks. This is exactly what I want to see. I don't want to see this trading sideways crap. We have no wick on the bottom. We are going in the right direction. We can definitely see how this thing has squeezed. And in yesterday's video, I said Nervous Network is squeezing. And the fact that we are now kind of lifting off from this 200 moving average says a lot of things. RSI stochastics are still in the tank, even with this news. And I think we might start seeing these rise higher and higher. Hopefully, we can really get this price back up to this four and a half cent level to retest some things. I'm curious right now, folks. I'm super curious. Now that we've held this 200, I'm going to go up and throw a little Fibonacci channel just to see how things are looking. We can definitely tell that we are battling it out at this 0.236 resistance line. And if we can climb over that, I think the next barrier we will face 
is this 50 moving average, folks, or the 0 0.021, 0 0.022-ish level. It just depends. I could also see us kind of trading sideways here till the end of July for an effort to move back up. I know I've discussed that in the past before, you know, maybe back in late April before all of this happened. Now, if this is the zero ground on this Fibonacci channel, we can see that a 200% move, if Nervous Network does a 200% move, you know, we'd be looking at 74 cents minimum. Now that would be so insane to me, but we are super far out. This isn't trading advice, financial advice, or anything like that. But we can definitely see that if we stay trading within this channel and hit that 200% mark, folks, we're in business. And furthermore, if we hit this 1%, this one level, we're looking at, you know, four and a half cents, which I've been begging for Nervous to retest this level. I thought we were going to do it here, but we just didn't quite make it. Whether or not we stick to this channel and above this 200 moving average, you know, we have to wait days, unfortunately, and maybe even a month. But I could definitely see at this point in time with this news, maybe some sort of ascending triangle form out here. And this could really be the best case scenario for Nervous Network CKB to squeeze the edge of this channel and move up. So is that going to happen? Nobody knows, but I would hate to see this pop and drop below this Fibonacci channel line here. I think Nervous Network is also forming what appears to be an inverse head and shoulders. If we look at this chart, what is this telling us? We don't really know that for sure, but I'm just speculating an inverse head and shoulders could be forming at the moment, possibly a cup and handle. Nobody really knows at this point. We need more time. We need more data. We need this thing to stay above this 200 moving average. On the two-day chart, folks, we've got a green, a green candlestick. Each of these candles is two days. So it's been a while since May 11th since we've had a green candle on the two-day chart. I don't know. I've got a good feeling about this pattern that's forming. I got a good feeling about the Cardano crowd possibly joining up with the Nervous crowd. I know there are a lot of Cardano holders in the Nervous community as well. Shout out to the guy that always says, stake your ADA. I hope you're still with us. Drop me a comment below. Anyways, folks, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. But the moral of the story is that's what I'm kind of seeing right now. And we are going to need more time. We'll, of course, do some follow-ups maybe tomorrow and kind of see what is playing out. But for now, we just need to sit back and enjoy this ride and hope that it's an upward ride. We just need to break over this Fibonacci channel here, which could be challenging, especially since we have been on such a bearish shed for so long. Hopefully we don't come down and double test this. Again, check out this video in the upper right-hand corner here. This will bring you to the interview or the news release we did this morning with dperch531 thanks everybody for tuning in we'll catch you later